Hello and welcome to this tutorial for users of Microsoft Excel. This tutorial is recorded using Excel 2010, but you should be able to apply most of what you see here to any version of Excel from 2007 all the way up to Excel 2019. In this lesson, we're going to look at how you can change the appearance of your Excel spreadsheets using themes and styles. Now, the first thing I'd like to do with this particular spreadsheet is set the formatting on my titles and headings. Now, I only have one title, which is in cell A1. That cell is already selected. And all I need to do is go to the style section on the home tab, click the drop down. You'll see there's a number of things on there. Some of those I'll come back to the part at the top, for example. But what I'm interested in now is titles and headings. And I'm going to come across and set cell A1 as a title. I'm also going to format my section heading, so that will be sales per month. I'm just going to hold down the control key while I select the sales team heading, the advertising and marketing heading, the projected spend heading, and the media spend heading. So all of those I'm going to format with one style. So again, come back to cell styles, and here I'm going to select heading one. All of my other labels I'm going to classify as heading three, so those are column and row labels, for example. So I'm going to select all of those now. Just click and drag, and again, just hold down the control key while I select non-adjacent cells. So I'm just going to go through and click all of my column and row headings here, like so. And I can now again go back to cell styles, and this time I will select heading two. So there I've selected three styles, title, heading one, and heading two. And if I just click away there, you can see that more clearly. Now, the benefit of this type of formatting is that you can apply consistent formatting across an organization. So people know that formatting follows a certain set of rules. And the benefit is that as you share workbooks, there isn't confusion about the meaning of different parts of a worksheet. I'm also going to use the style drop-down to apply formatting to all my numbers. So first of all, let's select all the currency cells. Again, just hold down the control key as I select the different parts of the worksheet. And so we have all the currency selected. Again, go to cell styles and you'll see there we have a currency option. Just select that. You'll notice now that some of my columns are showing hash marks. And as you may have seen earlier, all that means is that the column isn't wide enough for the content. So I can simply double click between the C and D in that case, F and G, and so on, until I've expanded the columns to fit the content. And finally, let's just apply formatting to my percentage cells there. So again, just select the cells, come to cell styles, select percentage. You'll notice here, by the way, that I can't actually see the live preview. So I can actually click the bottom right there of that selection or that box, drag up, and you can see my selection. And now as I scroll down to the percentage section, put the mouse over, you'll see I get the live preview. And just click percent, and that applies the formatting. So again, just click back onto A1. And there's my initially formatted spreadsheet using the cell styles. Now, if you want to try something completely different, you can apply a different theme to the worksheet. Before I do that, I'm just going to open the Cell Styles dialog again and just show you the colours here, Accent 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Keep an eye on those and also the titles and headings. So when I apply a new theme, you'll see some changes here. And if I close that Cell Styles dialog, you will also see some changes in the Theme Colour section as well. So first of all, let's go to the Page Layout tab and that's where you'll find the Theme section over on the left. If I click on the drop down there, it'll open up the themes. At the moment, the office theme is the one that's applied. But if I move the mouse over to a few of the themes, you will see immediately on the spreadsheet, the styles will update to reflect the new theme formatting. So let's select one and I will choose this clarity theme here. See how that looks. So we get a different color and we also get a different font for the spreadsheet. So if I go back to the Home tab, and let's take a look now at our cell styles. And you'll see there, not only have the heading options changed, so we have a different font and color, we also have different colors in our accents from one to six. And the rows above, as you can clearly see, are simply lighter colors based on that initial accent color. 
So let's apply some of these colors in. So I'll apply accent six to my title and my headings, let's change those as well. So I'll just select those and let's apply a different color there. So go to cell styles and let's have this blue color. You'll notice by the way that my cells are getting cut off there. So what I'm going to do is modify things a little bit and use the merge and center option. So I'm going to click and drag for the title from A1 across to K1, all the way across there. Just choose Merge and Center. For sales per month, I'm going to go across to the total column. Again, Merge and Center. Sales team from column I to K, Merge and Center. Advertising and marketing, I'm going to go from column A to G, Merge and Center. For advertising projections, I'll go from A to C, again, Merge and Center. And finally, Media Spend, we'll just cover E and F. And if I just click back on the title, You'll see that looks a bit neater and uh, easier to read, I think. And I'll also just show you if I click on the drop down for fill color, you'll see the new theme colors there. So let's close that. Let's go back to page layout and let's try another theme. Again, if you find this selection area is a bit too intrusive, you can reduce that. Just come to the bottom right, get the two way arrow and drag all the way up. So we just see one row of themes and again, scroll down. And you can try different styles there until you find something that's suitable. Um, obviously, you could spend several days here if you're not too careful. So it's probably better to have an initial idea of what you want before you start. Let's choose that newsprint one. That's quite interesting. So if I select that, you'll see all the new styles applied. I might want to modify my title, obviously make that much bigger. So instead of 11 points, I would probably want to have that maybe 20. So it stands out a bit more. Again, just click away somewhere. If I want to modify this particular theme, I can also do that. Again, if I go back to page layout, I have the option to change colors and fonts here. So if I click on the drop down for colors, first of all, I can choose the color scheme from another theme. So if I come down, you will see as I move the mouse over, the colors change. So let's go for, in this case, the colors from the grid scheme. I might want a different type of font as well. So if I click the drop down there, at the moment I've got newsprint, but let's choose essential, which I like the look of. So click on that. I can now save this modified theme by clicking the drop down on the theme button, come to the bottom and choose save current theme. And I might call it ABC theme one, for example, press save. So now if ever I have a spreadsheet which has a different theme applied, so let's go and apply some other theme, angles for example. All I would need to do is go to page layout, click the theme button, and right at the top there we see in the custom section, ABC theme one, just click on that. And there I have my preferred theme applied. So let's say I'm happy with things as they are there. Let's go back to the home tab and look at some of the other things available on the cell style dialog. If I click on the drop down there, so we have the good, bad and neutral section. We also have the data and model section. And the idea here is that you can apply a particular formatting to any cell to indicate what that cell's purpose is. Let's close that down for now. So let's select cells from B5 down to F6. And these are obviously cells where people can enter data if they choose. So I'm going to go to the cell styles and choose the input style. So wherever people see this color, they will know they can enter data in those cells safely. Let's select all of my total cells. Go back to cell styles and I'm going to highlight those as calculations. And my grand total in G7, I'm going to go back and highlight that as the total cell by clicking the total format option here. You might also decide to use the good and bad formatting options as some kind of performance review. So if we look at our sales team here, we might want to say that Fred has done well and Steve has done not so well. So if I click on Fred's cell there, click on cell styles, choose good, click on Steve's, click on cell styles and choose bad. Whether you use these options or not is obviously a personal thing. And those are some of the ways that you might choose to apply that. If you do want to change any of these colors, of course you can do so if you don't like the idea of pink, being bad, you can simply right click, choose modify, and you have the option here if I click on the format button to choose different backgrounds. So I could choose a different fill color, maybe a strong red there, for example. And if I go to the font section, I might choose a white 
as the font color click OK OK again and now you see we get a white on red background is our bad performance color you can also import cell style colors from any other spreadsheet. now if I open a blank worksheet you'll see that the cell styles are the default cell styles there and if I go back to the worksheet I've been working on click cell styles you'll notice I've modified my bad cell there let's say I want to change that back again I could either go back in and re modify the cell alternatively if I click on cell styles again I can choose merge cell styles or merge styles select the other open workbook which is the blank workbook which is book three click OK I get a warning to say do you want to merge the styles with the same name simply say yes and click on the drop down so a way of resetting these colors if you need to do that is by merging with another open workbook. So that concludes this lesson. You've seen there how to work with Excel themes and styles, how to create, save and open custom themes if you need to do that. And the purpose of these formatting features is of course to give you a consistent formatting style across all your workbooks. So that concludes this tutorial. I hope you found some things in there that are useful and you can maybe apply to the spreadsheets that you're working on. In the meantime, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.